History has told us about the rise and fall of many great empires. However, there were some incredibly ambitious ones throughout history. Some of the empires actually came close to total world domination, which is exactly what we will be uncovered in this video. Hello everyone, welcome to Top 10 History, your hub for historical lists and amazing history facts. Today we're going to go over 10 empires who almost took over the world. Make sure to watch until number 1 because the number 1 empire that came close to world domination might shock you. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on because we release a new historical top 10 list every single day. Also make sure to smash that like button. Alright, let's get right into the video. Number 10, the Ming Dynasty. Out of the hundreds of dynasties that rule over China, one of the oldest countries to ever exist, the Ming Dynasty, was clearly the most ambitious out of the thousands of years of the country's history. The people of the Ming Dynasty were known as Great Conquerors, as they had conquered China as well as a large part of Asia over the span of the dynasty. They controlled many tribute states that were essentially puppet states that depended on the Ming Dynasty to survive, making these states technically part of the empire. Although it is argued that the Qing Dynasty was bigger, which they technically were in terms of landmass, the Ming Dynasty were great conquerors and the Qing Dynasty weren't as interested in conquering. And that's why we put the Ming Dynasty above the Qing Dynasty in empires that almost conquered the world. After the Ming Dynasty grew too big, the empire eventually started to divide and collapse, as was the fate of many great Chinese dynasties. Nazi Germany Following the First World War, the Treaty of Versailles pretty much directly blamed Germany for the Great War, and the country had to pay an enormous amount of money that it didn't have, causing the German economy to collapse. The German people obviously weren't happy and they were quite humiliated by how the international audience was viewing their great nation. This gave rise to radicalism in the country, with tyrants such as Adolf Hitler instilling radical views such as fascism throughout the nation. In order to create more living space for the supposed German master race, Nazi Germany started to conquer the rest of Europe. They almost conquered the entire continent, but their premature invasion of Russia, as well as the D-Day invasion in northern France, put Hitler's plan to a screeching halt. One of the major turning points of the Second World War was the Battle of Stalingrad, where a huge chunk of the German army was wiped out. It was the bloodiest battle in history. Nazi Germany was defeated by the Allied powers in 1945, causing the empire to collapse and their leader, Adolf Hitler, took his own life. The Ottoman Empire Speaking of the Great War, let's talk about the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire is a centuries old empire dating back to the final days of the Roman Empire. The Ottomans went on to conquer the remains of the Roman Empire in modern day Turkey, as well as the Balkan states, parts of the Middle East, and North Africa. Fast forward to the 20th century, World War I started to break out and the Ottoman Empire joined the war with its allies, Germany and Austria-Hungary. However, the Ottoman Empire was already starting to collapse and its people who were previously conquered by the empire were looking for independence and freedom. This gave the empire the nickname, the Sick Man of Europe. Seeing that the empire was weakened, countries such as the United Kingdom, Russia, and France began to conquer parts of the Ottoman Empire, slowly chipping away at the once great empire. After losing the First World War in 1918, the Ottoman Empire officially collapsed. Number 7. The Macedonian Empire The Macedonian Empire was an empire that ruled over ancient Greece around the 4th century BC. The Macedonian Empire was ruled by Philip II, who started to expand the empire greatly through conquest. But it was his son who really knocked it out of the park with growing the empire. And his son was known as Alexander the Great. Alexander may have been one of the greatest conquerors to ever live, as he conquered Greece, the Balkan states, and then most famously he fought and defeated the entirety of the Persian Empire. At his hands, the Persian Empire fell into extinction, making Alexander's empire stretch from Greece all the way to India. Unfortunately, Alexander died on his way back home to Macedon. Since Alexander did not have an heir, his great empire was split between his generals, causing his great empire to break apart and collapse. Number 6. The Spanish Empire now here's an empire that definitely left a deep mark on history, as there are now at least 20 countries around the world who speak Spanish as their official language. It's one of the most spoken languages around the world thanks to the Spanish Empire. Spain was a major European superpower for about 300 years, not including the Vikings. They were the first European nation to discover North and South America, which they quickly began to colonize and conquer. Many great Native American empires such as the Aztec, the Mayans, and the Inca all fell to the Spanish Empire. They were a very large empire who had captured and colonized most of South America, Central America, including the Caribbean islands, as well as Florida. 
The Spanish was one of the most powerful empires, until a Frenchman by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte decided to invade Spain, greatly crippling the Great Empire. The Spanish Empire officially fell in 1898. Number 5. The Roman Empire The Roman Empire used to be the greatest powerhouse of Europe and had a lifespan of over 1,000 years. It grew from a small city-state in the Italian peninsula to one of the most powerful nations of all time that conquered the entire Mediterranean, which include most of Europe, most of the Middle East, as well as Northern Africa. The Roman Empire is also said to be responsible for the majority of languages around the world, since the five Romance languages, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, and Romanian, all came from the Latin language, which was the official language of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire also is known for its presence in Biblical times, as the stories of Judaism and Christianity often involved the Roman Empire. Eventually, the Roman Empire split into two, being the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, which eventually became the Byzantine Empire. However, as we learned before, the Byzantine Empire was soon defeated and consumed by the Ottoman Empire. Number 4. The French Empire Now, there were multiple instances in history where the French almost took over the world. The first was when Napoleon Bonaparte rose to power and became an emperor of France. With fierce military conquest, Napoleon took over the majority of the European continent. Many historians view Napoleon as the greatest military leader of all time for being able to accomplish this. However, his empire soon collapsed following an unsuccessful invasion of Russia. The other time the French Empire almost conquered the world was during its colonial days, most notably the Scramble for Africa, where the French took over the majority of Western Africa as well as Madagascar. France also colonized areas such as Syria, French Guyana, and Southeast Asia. The French Empire fell when Hitler successfully invaded and conquered the French mainland. After the Second World War, France lost all of its colonies during the period of decolonization. Although France lost all of its colonies, the country still remains a major world power to this day. Number 3. The Russian Empire Russia has a number of different types of regimes controlling it. Today, it is a democracy, but it used to be a communist dictatorship. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about even before that, when the Russian Empire was a monarchy. The Russian Empire was one of the largest in history, stretching all the way from modern day Poland all the way to Alaska. Russia was ruled by the Tsar, which was the name for the King of Russia. However, the Tsar did not do a good job of keeping the people happy, as Russia was very far behind the rest of Europe in terms of technology and infrastructure. Following a humiliating defeat in a war with Japan, and another humiliating defeat in the First World War, the people eventually had enough of the Tsar. The Russian Empire collapsed and the Russian Revolution began in 1917, eventually leading to an all-out civil war. As a result, the Russian Empire was replaced with the Communist Soviet Union. Number 2. The Mongol Empire The Mongol Empire was the largest empire in history with one continuous landmass. The empire stretched from the Korean Peninsula and stretched all the way to Eastern Europe. They conquered most of the Asian continent as well as parts of Eastern Europe. Millions of people were slaughtered at the hands of the Mongol Empire as they ruled with force and with bloodshed. The ruler of the infamous Mongol Empire for most of history was Genghis Khan, who ruled the empire with an iron fist. It was said that he had so many children that 16 million people today may be related to him in some way. At the height of the Mongol Empire, the empire controlled 16% of the world's total landmass, and 25% of the world's population lived within the Mongol Empire. After Genghis Khan eventually died, the Mongol Empire was divided and it collapsed. Since the Mongol Empire was primarily nomadic, it was unlikely that the empire was ever going to last a long time. Number 1. The British Empire You know that you are a very tenacious empire when phrases are invented such as, the sun never sets on the British Empire. This phrase was invented because the British Empire was in so many different parts of the world that at least one part of the British Empire would always be experiencing daylight. Also because the British Empire controlled many parts of the world even today. The British had many different colonies all over the world including the United States, Canada, Guyana in South America, many parts of Africa, parts of the Middle East, India, Pakistan, Malaysia, Ireland, Australia, Hong Kong, and New Zealand. It was truly a colossal empire, with winning both world wars, it controlled 24% of the world's total landmass and 24% of the world's population at its height. Even today, many former British colonies have strong alliances with the United Kingdom, making one think if the British Empire still exists to this day. They are truly deserving of the number one spot on this list. 
Did these facts shock you? Make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more amazing historical facts and much more. If you like this video, check out this next video on the 10 amazing facts about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Alright, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.